hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about letting others why is it okay for you to not have a lot of engagement on your social media I've been doing uh, posting forever right and I don't have a lot of engagement but why is that okay the other day I was actually talking to somebody who was telling me about you know how engagement and, and you know I know lots of that but I was like okay well maybe I'm going to try to do this just to see you know maybe that is a good idea right and really afterwards I realized and kind of remembered why I was doing it that way and we're going to talk about that we're going to talk about why it's okay to not have a ton of engagement on your social media and that really depends on your strategies where you're trying to go what you're trying to accomplish and yeah so we'll talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so you don't have any engagement almost none and you're like oh my god this is so and they're, they're telling you you got to do a post and you got to create these good morning posts and these these quote posts and these results posts you got to do all these things and you know I'm not saying that's bad I'm just saying that takes a lot of time and maybe there's other ways that you can accomplish what you're trying to accomplish as well and that's kind of one of the things I'm doing I'm not spending a ton of time on social media I'm doing omnipresence I'm doing different things but let me show you kind of what that looks like right now let me just go and share the screen over here I'm actually going to go and go into Facebook let me just show you on Facebook if I go to Facebook right my Facebook just my Facebook profile right the normal uh, Facebook page you see I get I see people's posts here right I see ads I see you know whatever posts from people that I engage with and if I go to my profile I post a few things here and there and you can see the this morning I just posted this I didn't get any any engagement on it yet uh but that's just a few minutes ago and I post these videos right I got this video here that I posted on the 8th which was I guess uh, that was Friday and I have no I have just two people that actually engaged on it this one here I just did a bitcoin stuff right I got just like four or five people seven comments not a lot uh then I then this video I posted here I got just one person liking it this I shared somebody's video here I got only I, only one person liking it I did this video here I only had one person like it this one here only two people like it right uh, this one I had one person this one nobody this one just one person so and then this is a family post that I did I had 34 comments and 58 people who liked it right there's a family post and that's the thing you can do that you can do these this another family post I got 24 likes on it this was a happy new year thing it got 19 likes and 20 comments so you know you can be posting things that are unrelated to your business that are personal stuff that you'll get more engagement on the theory is that Facebook will share your your business stuff more right and one of the things is did I do that here where did I do that I did a post so I've been sharing my post and I did one post on Friday I believe was it this one no I thought I did one that I shared directly this is a shared video this is a oh yeah this one here so I see uh no then that's still a share I thought I posted one directly uh, yeah this one here yeah see this one here I posted directly to my Facebook because somebody was telling me you probably should do that that'd be better you'll get more engagement and you know what if I did that every single day I would probably start to get more engagement on it right because it's a video and I could also do lives or live streams and other different kinds of things on my profile to get more engagement on my own you know Facebook profile right but the thing is that that's not you know I mean posting family stuff right like this is awesome right you get you get awesome results from that and that's the whole point because Facebook is about family stuff right it's about family things so you'll get more engagement on those things because that's what most people are on there for but what is your goal what is your goal 
what are you trying to accomplish right what are you trying to accomplish with with your content so for me right and why is it okay that I don't have a lot of engagement on these things is because that's not my goal it's not to get a ton of engagement and yes it would be good but it takes a lot of effort to do that to build your platform to build your engagement so that you get engagement on here right so for me what I do if I look at this right I'm getting 130 35 28 26 26 15 22 you know some videos I get 55 53 80 112 53 40 right so that's the the views I get on my click e-course or um course income secrets my course income secrets videos that I post on my page um and it's not humongous numbers as you can see it's not huge numbers but every single one I get you know 20 to 50 maybe views on them right and the one that I posted directly instead of of uh doing a Facebook live and sharing it look I got two in one right two views on this I decided to post the full length one I just got two views I, I posted this one directly I just got one view but when I post it from my um my live stream from OBS using live I get 29.50 right some of these I don't I didn't get lots of views because I had my audience was blocked and I couldn't share and there's things that was going on that since last December I got it all cleared up now but um that's one of the reasons why these numbers are a little bit lower but even this this was a direct post it was a direct post does it say on here whether it was live or not anyways I know it wasn't so yeah so these ones were all lives these were lives from OBS which is what I normally do every day and I got you know almost no views on the ones that weren't but that's um that's not to say that if I didn't do that consistently I wouldn't get more views I I definitely would um but the thing is you got to remember is if you're doing something you got to do it for a while before it starts to pay off and for me what I'm doing is I'm building an audience a custom audience look I've been building this audience for months then this audience right here which is this one right here this one here whoops well let me try that this one here right 15,000 people are in this audience these are people that have been that have watched three seconds does it say here I guess I'd have to click on it if I click on it you can see that it's uh no it doesn't actually say what it is I'd have to edit it I guess I can do that let's just uh, go edit the audience if I edit this audience you're going to see it's an audience of three second viewers is it letting me edit it this is oh it's just the computer's little block but anyways it'll probably load up in a minute here or maybe not maybe not maybe not let's do this this way oh there you go okay so you see I've got oh three 550 videos in here right it's all uh well I guess you can't oh yes it says right here people who viewed at least three seconds of your video so that's the audience I have for this this audience I every time I post a new video I add the video to the audience and then it just keeps adding keeps adding and if I want I can do what I can I can promote one of these videos which is what I did sometimes I promote a video to I don't know Gary V fans or to Russell Brunson fans or to Tony Robbins fans people that are that I that I I'm, I want to target and then the idea is that then I can retarget other videos and other offers and things like that to this same audience right this fifteen thousand dollars now the other audience I'm building right now which I just created this morning was an IGTV I didn't even know you could do that I just kind of looked it up to try to figure out you can actually create an Instagram viewer uh, video viewer audience as well I'm not sure my Instagram isn't getting as many views actually as on Facebook and that's probably because my Instagram is uh I'm not focusing on it that much but at the same time it's my I'm, I don't even know if there's a way in Instagram to share and to make your videos visible unless you do an ad I suppose but but yeah so that's the thing so if I do an ad on Instagram to grow some of these videos and get them in front of more people then I can grow that audience too I can start to re-promote things so that's one of the reasons why it's okay if your engagement is low and the thing is that if you post on your profile if I was to post videos on my profile maybe eventually I'd get more views because it would be profile based videos right profile based things maybe I would get better views right but the thing is that if you 
do that you won't be able to promote them you won't be able to create audiences you won't be able to do a, a promotion to those people right you won't that just won't be an option right it just won't be possible to do that and that's one of the things if your goal is to grow exponentially eventually you're going to have to spend money on ads and if you don't plan ahead if you don't make it so that you can do that in the uh, in when you start out if you're just doing pro profile stuff and you're spending all your time engaging and and reaching out to people and commenting and having conversations all that is great it's wonderful but that isn't going to scale it's not going to scale to millions of income because you only have a certain amount of time you're limited and that's kind of what I that's kind of how I look at things right I'm I'm like okay I need to grow to you know more than what I can do I can't possibly do everything I need to do to get to where I need to go right I mean I need to be making I don't know I'm just gonna put a number out there a million a year or something right that is that is that is going to allow me to you know have no problems with finances and be able to spend all the time I have I want with my family be go on vacations do all these things that I want to be able to do not have a day job not have a boss other than me that's going to allow that but that can't be done or at least it's really really hard to do especially if you have a full-time job you have a family you have everything else going on and you just have a small amount of time every day that you can actually focus on your social media right you can't be creating social media uh, content all the time you can't be engaging all the time I mean it's easy it's easy 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 to spend like two to five hours a day on social media to try to build your engagement that isn't something I want to do now I don't know about you and I'm not saying you it's not a good way to, to get started because there's lots of stuff to learn and that's not a bad thing but you know if you want to grow you need to go beyond the personal aspect of it and you need to think okay well maybe I'm not getting a lot of engagement but doing it this way is going to allow me to do this 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 scale all the way up to a million 10 million 20 million 100 million <laughs> right you can scale and scale and scale whereas personal stuff you can't right okay so let's take a look at how that works so if you're in Facebook I'm just going to kind of give you a quick little uh, so you go to business business.facebook.com right so business.facebook.com takes you to your business account now if you don't have a business account yet you can create a business you click on create business you give it a name um, and then your business email so I'm not really sure I done haven't done that in a long long time but I imagine it's relatively straightforward just go through this and just click on submit and you'll be able to create a business me I have two of them and the reason I have two of them is because I created one a long time ago this one here I created like you know in the beginning and this one I think this one was created automatically when I did my Instagram uh, I converted my Instagram to a business profile it automatically creates a business in Facebook because they're tied together right I haven't even done anything in here right there's no ad account there's no no pages there's just me right so it's kind of weird because that face that Instagram thing is in the other one oh I must have I must have tied it to it afterwards or something but the point is that once you're in your business account you go in your business account you can do you can do ads but you don't have to do ads right away you can create audiences you can just create an audience right so uh, let's see if I go back to here the audience is where we were right uh, under ads manager audience you just go to ads uh, no not audiences sorry you go to audiences you can create two types of video engagement audiences you can create a whole bunch of different things and we're not going to cover necessarily going through the details of that maybe I'll do another episode where I actually talk about specifics but if I want to just create an IGTV I just create an audience I create a custom audience a custom audience is where you can create an audience based on engagement based on video views based on all sorts of different things so let's just click on that we'll, we'll show you what that looks like so you want to be able to create this audience you can create uh, a website based so audience a customer list offline activity app activity video Instagram account all these different things I I'm just for the fun of it I'm going to create an Instagram account I don't even know what that does let's let's try this but actually I'll do that another time right now we can do video video audience when you click on video you can create a video audience 
with different kinds of engagements on your videos right you can do it for three seconds your video 10 seconds your video viewed uh 15 seconds of your, your, your video up to 25 percent 50 percent 75 percent 95 percent right so depending on how long your videos are you might want to you might want to use 25 or but you know really start with the three second views anybody who views three seconds or video at least they engage and they kind of saw your face maybe depending on what kind of videos you have but you do, do this so I've already done a three second video so I'm, I'm going to do um, a 25 percent one whoops let's do a 25 percent IGTV right 25 percent well let's do a 15 second let's do a 15 second so let's okay so then choose content type no then choose video so now once you've done that like I said if you do three or five or ten or fifteen or whatever it is then you choose the videos so I'm going to go in here and I can go to my Facebook one of my Facebook pages right I can choose one of my Facebook pages let's do uh let's do a, my course income secrets page and let's do that first right I'm going to just click on these videos just all these videos uh, next one videos 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 so that's the, the thing is that I wish there was a way to just say use all the videos but I you can't I you have to select them individually like this so every time you create a new video you got to add the video to the audience which is one of the things I do all the time but this one here is going to be I'm just going to go for a little while here in December let's do all of December at least all of December should I go past let's do November as well so November so now one thing I'm not sure about because that's something that uh, I've been told before is that you have to add the audience uh, you have to add the video to the audience before they view the video but I'm not sure it talks about in the past somewhere but anyways I'll just do this we'll see what happens okay so November 3rd November 3rd and October okay let's just do last this last page okay so now I've created it with does it say 60 videos I just click on continue right here I'm going to give this uh cis 15 did I say 15 second viewers I might already have that audience there but anyways I'll just create it like this 15 second video viewers okay video viewers cis is just my my short for course income secrets right okay so now I have uh, it tells me that it'll take up to 30 minutes for the audience to be ready so but you could create an ad right away I'm just going to say done right now I don't want to create an ad I just wanted to create the audience so I see I've got my cis 15 second viewers here I've got my <coughs> cis video viewers here I wish I could move it up but anyways I guess you can't date created can I share short it by something else no name Oh, I guess I could do that and then I would have oh well, I have oh, so many audience I don't know maybe I can delete some of these audiences but let's just go date created all right so availability no you can't sort by that okay so if I look at say for example whoops the other way around so this cis 15 second viewers it says it's populating oh this IGTV oh look at that 2700 in this IGTV which is really pretty good right okay so now how do you create an Instagram IGTV video audience very similar uh what we do is we cl click on the create audience we go into the custom audience again we say video still it says Facebook right but we st it's still Facebook well it's not Facebook it's going to be Instagram but the so you still say use Facebook sources video right here you choose again the same thing and say uh I'm going to put 15 seconds of my video again because I already done a three second one so then I go choose videos and then over here instead of Facebook page right I change it to Instagram business uh, profile there you go so now I've got only one uh, Instagram so now I got all these videos so I'm just going to select them all right here do the same thing I just go through these videos you can see these are all my four minute 50 second videos right which are the um the trimmed videos that I always post on Instagram TV I don't post the full videos because at the end of those videos I want them to come to my blog so now I'm just going to select all the videos but there's some of them see this 15 second video here 15 second these these would have been 
uh reels right with reels you can actually you can include the reels it's not just IGTV that's really cool right so I'm just going to put all these in here I'm just going to select them all it doesn't really matter let's just keep going keep going right here so I guess the the truth is that even if you even if they view your video if you had your video after you've created the audience that's okay they don't have to be you, they'll still show all the viewers of the videos in your audience they don't you don't have to necessarily add the video to your audience before you um before you before you share the video which is one of the things I thought you had to do but I guess it's proving right now that it's not needed because if I was able to get 2700 people in my audience for IGTV by creating it just now just before doing this video then I then it's then it is true that it adds them uh after the fact even though they've even though I didn't add those videos to the audience before they viewed it so it shows that's that's really cool I like that I didn't realize that so I'm just adding more and more videos here let's just go like this and you know so what do you want what do you do with these audiences now right so let's just let's just see what I do with those now obviously you can't do that in the very beginning when you're starting out you might have only 10 or less than 100 people in there right so I'm just gonna just save that right here and I'm gonna call this IGTV 15 second video viewers viewers all right so now I have these audiences this 15 second one this three second one I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say done here so now I have these audiences now what can I do with them so if I go uh let's say I want to create um well I want to promote one of my videos if I go into my uh, page if I go to my page Mm -hmm. got to go to here and then we go to the pages right here I got all my pages right there I'm just going to go to my let's say this page my JS Gagnon page all right so that's my page that I actually in integrate I don't have a lot of I don't you really use that page that much but let's just say that I want to uh engage on this this is a page that shows that I share stuff from other platform other things it's got activity I only have how many how many people like this page uh does it where does it say mm, 19 just 19 people right so anyways it doesn't matter let's just show you how you would promote a video using that audience so let's just say I go find the video I did last 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 week Or maybe this one what is this one this is see look at that simple and that's actually 012 wow well, hey, that's been a while that's because it's going through my um it's going through my social jukebox is sharing this stuff so that's why those are there so if I can just find I got 22 comments that I haven't looked at but this is kind of what you do you can you can create a new ad but I just want to show you how to post how to boost something but I want to find the video from the other day right like right here see boost post right you they can you can boost any of these things ah 305 <clears throat> this is 305 January 8th uh this is six steps 305 I actually want to find the original video <laughs> or I, I probably could have went into my videos here or something but anyways let's just uh yeah right there videos I wonder if I can do that let's let's do that let's go into videos there's the videos yeah there's all the videos see this an hour video TikTok ads manager do I where's the I got a link I want to promote the LinkedIn one where's the LinkedIn one over here maybe five free ways successful would be over here in LinkedIn there we go let's let's go to this one hey, my I'm just going to pause it here and wait for it to load up let's make make me look not too too bad if we got to wait for this to load here um and then once it's loaded if we can get that loaded up shouldn't take too too long let's do an, a boost of this 
maybe I can do it from here I don't know I've never tried it actually come on load up as you can see I got the uh, the subtitles here I want to edit the video too to change the cover photo because it, the default on this page was let's actually close this and see what happens can I just edit edit video yeah let's do that and the thumbnail I want to change the thumbnail to this is which one was this this is 302 302 change the thumbnail I want to upload a thumbnail for 302 course income secrets 302 that's probably made it already so 302 is right here this thumbnail right here there you go okay so that's the thumbnail that I want um save that all right uh, okay why save something went wrong oh. try again something wrong with my internet maybe no it's doing something now if you can oh it's failing again see uh, if I click on continue here and I click on the save again you see it's actually doing something right it's actually doing something right there I don't know what's going on maybe I have to reload the page let's try to reload the page reload let's see if there's a some sort of weird issue here let's edit this video again okay let's try this again see if that works thumbnail and save it ah I don't know why anyways uh let's go to my let's go to course income secrets page then confirm let's go to my course income secrets instead then over here and find the videos do this and let's do it. well I don't have to edit that because I edit those all the time anyways so the videos would be let's see this would be the video right here so now can I no I can't do that so <clears throat> I just want to boost the post I just want to show you that boost the post but I also want to boost the post that makes sense to me right now okay this one here so this one here had 129 people reach 26 engagements let's just try to boost the post let's just boost it to my audience so over here I'm going to go in here button learn more it's not going to be course income secrets it's going to be the url for it let's go to my blog make sure that they get to my blog and that particular video right which is uh, this one here uh, LinkedIn yeah let's use this one this will be the link I want them to go to over here over here over here over here website there'll be this one all right learn more then it'll be custom audience I want to choose uh, I want to choose this size video viewers just my normal CIS video viewers where is it should be in here shouldn't it this is the top five. Oh right oh yeah, yeah yeah okay that's not how that works all right so you got to create an audience based on your custom audience and this is what this is this one here CIS video viewers right here is based on my custom audience right my video viewers which is the one I showed you here this one here this cis video viewers right here which has 15,000 in it right and I also edited it because whenever you create whenever you try to uh, target your you can't target just your custom audience your custom audience is just a, a list of people and then you have to target it based on their age demographics where they live those kinds of things you still have to integrate that then you can save that as an audience which is what I did here 
so maybe we should I should show you how to do that so let's just say uh, let's just say uh, I can't show that can I just create a new audience so create new okay I'm going to create a new audience I'm going to call it cis um tony fans okay I'm going to create a, a tony audience fans that have watched my video right so it can be all gender age is going to be 18 to 65 United States I want to also add Canada in there I want to make sure I add uh, United Kingdom I want to do the top five right the top five U.S speaking United Kingdom then I do then I do Australia Australia whoops AU Australia the country that adds it to there then I want to add whoops what's going on I want to add New Zealand there you go okay so now whoops cancel okay so now I have whoops New Zealand so I could do world English or whatever but I usually just use the top five because financially and all that they're they're more they're more uh, apt to spend or whatever right so I'm going to say save this audience what else is going on okay right so I've got the name their gender their location okay there you go so now I want to add suggested for you I want to have somebody who's interested in affiliate marketing okay so you can't actually create because you know if I do this if I say personal development Facebook page Tony Robbins that kind of stuff it'll be or so it'll be just any of these things right I don't want that I want them to be and those things and that I guess you have to do it in ads manager so you can't actually create the audience that the way I want to create it in here but um let's see what happens if I do this yeah so add people who match at least one of the following see that's not what I want yeah I don't want that okay I guess we're gonna have to go and create the audience let's go and create the audience in in here uh, I'm going to create a new audience here it's going to be a saved audience so I'm going to call this cis so the reason why whoops cis five uh, three second Tony fans okay I'm just going to call it like this and it's going to be uh, based on this custom audience cis video viewers right here right and it's going to be Canada include United States United States so I'm gonna have to do this again right what I just did a second ago whoops I want to also include Australia Australia and I want to include New Zealand and I want to include United Kingdom now I could probably I don't know if I could the United Kingdom include uh I I probably include Ireland too right because they're Ireland okay so now let's do that age uh, 18 to 65 let's just say 18 to 60 let's just say 25 to 64 all right and English definitely I want to make sure they're English speaking and there we go okay so now now this is where I put Tony Robbins I put Tony Robbins in here Tony did I type that wrong Tony oh there there he is okay so Tony Robbins so now I say narrow audience I got to click on the narrow audience to make sure that it's Tony Robbins and something else so I'm going to put in here and must also match affiliate whoops affiliate marketing let's put affiliate marketing then I have to say again narrow further I got to add them all that like that and 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 right so and must also match so see how it says also must also match must also match right so then I'm going to put in here um, personal 
development personal development right and also I'm going to put in here um Facebook page admins I like using that one that's just people that have pages right if they don't have pages maybe I don't want to okay so that's going to be my audience right here see how it says right here custom audience based on this the video viewers then these locations and these ages then English then these interests all these interests together so these are going to be just Tony fans basically people that are interested in Tony Robbins so I'm going to create this saved audience now I have the save audience that I created and it's going to be it's not available because it's but anyways and that, then I go here and I can say see less see all is that going to be in here now it should be at the top I think it's what I just created hmm. no maybe I have to reload this it doesn't look like it's showing up so probably have to create the audience before Russell fans TikTok okay let's just reload this what's going to happen is it going to give me some uh, I have to reload it okay learn more the, the this I got get the URL is this whoops the URL gotta fix the URL okay we're gonna get there so now I have the URL that I want the audience details CIS video viewers no oh there you go look at that it actually picked this audience as the one I wanted the default the one I just created right now okay perfect so I want to run it for five days fifty dollars so five dollars a day uh let's make it ten days and let's make it a hundred so that'll be ten dollars a day right ten dollars a day and it's going to be my pixel right here it's going to be on my same my credit card you got to have your credit card on file total budget a hundred dollars and this will just be an ad that's going to go to my custom audience people that are already in my audience that that lets me retarget retard that's called retargeting so I'm going to click on boost post now it's going to submit it and then it won't most likely won't be approved because my uh, lots of my uh, ads they get flagged automatically as MLM or those those things they don't want but um usually I just well and then I just have to request a review and it's fine because the human will actually look at it and say oh it's not MLM right which it's not so I'm just going to click on this get your ad is being created that goes to the ad center I, well, I didn't need to do that but the ad center of my page right so I've got all these other ads that I did before and this one here post engagement 25 dollars right but uh, yeah so that's how you create an engagement that's why it's some that's why maybe not getting any kind of engagement on your Facebook isn't that big a deal that's why you can do that you can still create you can still and that's why I'm doing it like that that's why I'm creating content and even though I'm not getting a lot of engagement I'm doing it on my page so I can do ads I can do scaling even though I'm getting just 50 views a day over time it still adds up 15,000 that's insane right but um, that's kind of how you do it all right so maybe we'll talk more about that in another episode but that's it for today hope you enjoyed and if you have any questions always reach out I'm here and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.